Hey loves! Okay, so today I'm going to do like a vlog slash tag on um, a broad subject because I know that a lot of us go through the same thing. Um, possibly we do share different stories and experiences. So I really want to hear from you on your story, your experiences, your thought on people's mental development. And um, on my lips, because I know I'm going to get questions, is Mandarina. And this is by Milani. And I'll post the name down below. And on top of that, I just put Bubble It Up um, from Beauty Rush. You could get this at Victoria's Secret. I forgot to add that um, these earrings, I'm slowly starting my own business and selling jewelry. So that's where I'm pretty much got them. So <laughs> whenever I get my own business and stuff, I'm sure you can purchase these through me. All right. I got this at CVS. Okay. But anyway, let's cut to the chase. So, um, haters, but you know, everyone experiences haters. And, um, I actually have a very crazy, um, obsessive hater. Um, obsessive. When a person starts to become obsessive, they want to pretty much stalk your life. And I'm experiencing this ever since I met the girl. And I think that was when I was 15. And I am 20 years old right now. I'm about to be 21 next year. And um, that's a really long time for a girl to stalk me, <laughs> pretty much. I'm just going to put it out there. You're stalking me, honey. Um, one thing that I notice, like, what is their mental mentality? Like, what do you get out of stalking someone else's life? She literally rubbed me the wrong way the first time I met her. You know how you get those vibes that, you know, maybe... I, like, keep this person as the associate, but I don't want to get to know her because you're either going to know from a vibe, and personally, I think that you should listen to your in instincts once you meet someone. I listened to my instincts when I met her because I'm a nice person. I, I am. I don't claim to be mean unless you completely, like, try to be ignorant or whatever. And I met this girl, and I befriended her, and um, that was the wrong thing to do. So we had our complications, and um, we were not friends. She would talk about me constantly, and, you know, I gave her a second chance, and she broke that. And she actually saved a picture of me from when I was 15 years old. And I believe I was 18 at the time when I tried to be her friend again. And she literally, I can't believe that she saved a picture of me without makeup on. Like, I don't care if I don't have makeup on and stuff. I mean, like, no one's perfect. We all have our imperfections. We're people. And I'm like, that is extremely strange when you go and save something from years ago and try to put it up to embarrass me. I mean, just like that, okay, that's an that's in incident. And now she sends me requests constantly on MySpace, which I do not even check anymore. And Facebook, I mean, <laughs> this girl is out of her head right now and she just is constant 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 pretty much I will never be her friend again I rather not even go there I do not associate myself with fake people because that's just not me I'm a person that is real and I like to associate with real people that keep it real with me because when you get to girls that constantly have to belittle someone else to, you know, make them 
make themselves like feel better or whatever. It's just that's not me. I rather go on with my life and um, do me because that's what I do. I worry about my family. I worry about myself. And I'm not a perfect person at all. Nor do I claim to be a perfect person. We all make our mistakes. We live life. And I really don't understand the mentality of girls that can't live their own life. I like obsessive, obs obsessed, basically, where they focus so much upon other people that. You know, it's kind of like they have to talk in order to get recognized. You have to talk about this person. You talk shit about this person. You talk about everybody. And do you ever go and look in the mirror and ask yourself, okay, so I'm talking about all these people, but I'm a perfect person, you know? Like, look at your own flaws. Look at yourself in the mirror. Because I personally think that you have issues, you have mental issues, and it's crazy as kind of insane. I don't know. It's just, now she follows me on Twitter, and I just find it, like, so, like, odd and weird, and I'm sure that you're watching us right now, and you know who you are, and if the shoe fits, wear it. So, I really want to know... Like, what are you guys' views on people's mentality when it becomes obsessive, where they're constantly trying and trying and trying to, you know, talk to you and try to, like, know everything about you? And it's just crazy. It's just like, whoa, what are you doing in your life that makes me so significant to have you to focus on me so much? that it's just, it's like, it's hilarious. It really is, it, and it's sadly pathetic. I think that people like this really need to work on themselves when it comes to them like having to constantly say stuff about other people and constantly have to like stalk their lives. It's really, really sad. Like, like what's going on in here? Like, what's your, What's your goal in life? What are you doing with yourself? Why do you have to go and talk about every single person that you see? You know, you want to get recognized? Do you really want to get recognized as a person like that? I'm like so serious because who does that? Who really does that? And especially to like pretty much stalk their life on the internet, you know, stalk someone on the internet that's just crazy and even ask people about me like just randomly put my name in your mouth again just to talk 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 and I'm not about that I pity you know maybe they should be pitied I pray for them <laughs> it makes me think it's just like if you don't like me and if you don't care for me as a person and I'm not going to be your friend, you know, leave it as that. Don't go and stalk my life on the internet. Don't go and try to be my friend 50 times on Facebook. I'm not going to be your friend. I'd rather not be friends with big people and obsessive compulsive people that have to constantly belittle someone else to whatever, stroke your own ego, per se, or even like, Oh, oh my god, I want recognition. I want recognition. You know, it's kind of like that. It's like, oh, I'll talk crap about her. I'll talk crap about her. Maybe that will stir up some drama. You know, life. This happened to me and it's still going on. I'm 20 years old. This is from when I was 15. This is kind of like odd and very weird. I mean, as people, we should try to better ourselves as an individual. We should try to focus on ourselves and our family. That's what should really matter to a person. And I believe that 
bettering yourself as a person is what should matter most in your life. And I obviously forget about the haters. I brush them off like, whatever, your bugs, go away. Do I need bug repellent or something? Because it's a little bit annoying and it's obviously <laughs> weird because it's been going on for so long. Girls out there that dealt with this, I really want you to know that the people with this mentality, they do not have a life. They want to focus on yours and they want to focus on everyone else's because their life must not be interesting. They are not right in the head. And they obviously need to look in the mirror and ask themselves, oh, am I flawless? Do Am I a perfect person? Whoa. I must be to be talking about everybody else and focusing on their flaws and their whatever is going on in their lives, you know, their life is so interesting, you know. I think that's how they think. I don't know. <laughs> like, what do you guys think? Um, anyway, so I'm going to tag you and I want to know your story. I want to know your experiences. I want to know what you, your views on a person's mentality like this. And my view needs to get a life. They need to look at themselves in the mirror. They need to ask themselves, like, why they're doing this, you know? And I think that they should probably look to changing their life around because um, it's pathetic the way that you live if you constantly have to stalk someone else to, who knows, gain recognition. So, yeah. So I tag you. I tag the girls on here that may have went through obsessive compulsive haters or obsessive compulsive girls that want to stalk their life and what do you think their mentality is? What do you think their goals are? What do you think about this topic? Um, so yeah, I tag you, make a video re response to this and um, for the girls that don't have video camera recorders, you can post your views, your thoughts, and everything, your story down below, and I really like to hear it from you, and, you know, okay, so, later.